Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Ethereum and the Google search trends for the keyword Ethereum. If you guys like the content, please subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Let's go ahead and jump in. So, this chart shows the price of Ether, okay, on the primary y-axis, and that's the yellow line on this axis, and it's on a logarithmic scale. And then this axis shows the Google search for the keyword Ethereum trends. So last cycle, we note that there were three major peaks, and it looks like we could be putting in our first peak now. Now, something you have to consider with search trends is that these are normalized, but you know, so that it goes from zero to 100%. For instance, I believe these used to be at 100%, but now since interest has surged for Ethereum more so than it was back in 2017 and 2018, we've now put in a new you know, global top in terms of the interest, and so it's, it's now diminished the interest of these peaks. So these graphs are subject to change based on future interest. For In the same manner, Back in 2017, I imagine this peak at one point showed 100%, but then now it looks diminished at around 80% because we went on later to put in much higher peaks. In the same manner, this current peak could be at 100% now, but in say six months, maybe we'll look back on it and it'll be an 80% peak with a major move later on. So one of the things that is somewhat interesting by this chart is and, and we actually one caveat is that I only have weekly data for the chart and we know that a lot can happen uh, in a week. But one thing that's interesting is it almost seems to be a a leading indicator. Um, again, this is just data. We have no idea what's going to happen in the short term in the market, but it almost seems to be a leading indicator. You can see that it peaks here, and then like on the on the interest, and then it and then the actual peak the actual local peak before it came back down was maybe a week later. Um, we had a peak here though, uh, it retraced a, only a little bit and then it even had a, a much higher peak where it went up 2x, you know, just a few weeks later. So we simply do not know uh, where we are in this. You know, are we going to have say a, a double peak where the interest in Ethereum even explodes more so beyond what it currently has? And, and we'll see the price of Ethereum potentially go up to $2,2500. Or are we about to put in our first, you know, search term Ethereum on Google peak for this market cycle? Are we gonna come cool back down and then later on go on an even more impressive run? We simply do not know what the short term holds. Of course, I do hold Ethereum. Just ma make sure you're always being responsible in the markets. Uh, we know that the, the markets are extended, um, and, and they, they have been extended for a while, frankly. Uh, it's when everyone starts to get bullish that you, you should start to get um, somewhat worried. We still, we still maintain that there could be some more upside for Ethereum. Obviously, it would be nice if, if Ethereum could break $1,400, uh, and I think the, the main way that it could do that is if the price of Bitcoin were to remain somewhat steady, or if Bitcoin continued to skyrocket in, in, in its value in the short term. So those are the two main ways I think that Ethereum could break through $1,400. But let's also not mistake that we are seeing a huge surge in interest in a very short period of time. Um, and we've seen these before, we've seen these types of surges before. Uh, this time, it, you know, this peak, it ended up being a, a peak for the next, say, several months. Um, however, this peak that occurred only sh only saw a very slight retracement in the short term before going up 2x again. So we're not going to make any claims on, on any short term moves because in the same manner that it could dump to $700, we also know that it could theoretically go to $2,500. So there's the upside risk, there's the downside risk. Uh, make sure you're, you're protecting yourself, you're being responsible in, in all things. And if, if we do, if you are in it for the long haul, again, if you're in it for years, I don't think you have much to worry about anyways. But if you're, if you're looking to say, if you're new to the market, 
Uh, I imagine a lot of people are new to the market considering that the interest in the search word Ethereum is up significantly. So th this video is perhaps more so for newer people to the space rather than people who have been here for a while because again if you bought Ethereum like a lot of us at 100 and 200 bucks, 300, 400 bucks, you know, it, it's, it's not so bad to stomach 40% drops, right? Um, but we also maintain, maintain the, the potential upside potential. If you're, you know, if you're buying in at, at, at $1,200, $1,300, uh, you do stand to gain in the short term. Like, we'll admit that. There's a, there's a chance. But we also have to recognize the, the downside risk. And we try to talk about the, uh, the downside risk in a lot of our videos um, because, you know, frankly, we, we simply do not know what the short term brings. It's, it's more so how, we're, how we react to the markets. Are we making responsible decisions? Are we having appropriate stops in place to ensure we take profits? Uh, while also leaving some on the table in the event of a continued surge. So we just want to be pragmatic about things. I thought this was an interesting chart. The Google Trends search for Ethereum, the interest in it has gone and put in a new peak at 100%. And um, I just noticed that, you know, we had three peaks last cycle. We'll see how many we have this cycle. And we'll see ultimately how high Ethereum can go at the same time. It's not like a pullback would be that surprising. So we're going to try to talk about you know, the downside risk in, in, in most of our videos, while also showing that, okay, well, there's the downside risk that you take in the short term, but there's also the potential, the potential short term ROI. And you know, when we were down here, it didn't really matter what was going on, because we were mostly just an accumulation phase. And there, there was there really wasn't a, a major bubble to speak of. And you can actually see that reflected in the interest of Ethereum on Google search you can see it reflected fairly well, right? There really wasn't much to take advantage of in here. I mean, yes, there were moves that, you know, ultimately resulted in a, a, a three to four X in the short term, followed by, you know, coming back down. But in terms of taking advantage of a, of a major move, we just simply have not seen it since 2018. And now, three years later, we have seen a major move again. Um, and, and we'll see exactly how high we can go. Remember, this is weekly data. So it's not like it's uh, the Ethereum price is daily, uh, but because the Google Trends that I got is weekly, it's granulated in terms of weekly data, not daily data. So there can be a huge distinction there because in one week, a crypt, you know, crypto can go up 2x and then come down, you know, like 60% or something from, from its peak. So just remember that. Um, so just trying to provide a, a different perspective to the market that we haven't really talked about before. This is Google search trends for Ethereum on the secondary y-axis overlaid with the price of Ethereum on the primary y-axis, which is the yellow curve, and it's a logarithmic scale. Just something to keep in mind. We'll see, we'll see if Ethereum has more gas in it uh, in the short term, but ultimately we will, we will want to keep a, a close eye on, on what the interest is doing over the next few weeks. Um, another cool chart is if you take the price of Ethereum and divide it by the interest, we're coming in also at the all-time high. I thought that was pretty interesting. Obviously, it makes sense since the price of Ethereum up here divided by the interest was also around the same. The interest was around the, the same level as it is today. So it makes sense that they are about the same value uh, when you take Ether divided by the interest. However, again, we know that the interest curve can change. Um, the interest in Ethereum curve can change because it's normalized. Okay, so if the interest continues to go up over the next two weeks, we'll look back at this and say, oh, well now it's 87 or like 70 to 80% or something rather than its current 100%. It all depends on what happens with crypto in the next few weeks. And a large part of that depends on what happens with Bitcoin in the next few weeks. If you guys like the content, subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up. Let's go for 100,000 subscribers. Thank you guys for tuning in. Check out intothecryptoverse.com for the premium uh, premium list, intothecryptoverse.com. Thank you guys for tuning in. Subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.